Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a dice and how you can make a game out of just the dices. So let's just start. To start with I need a rect and that rect is at the position let's say 100, 200, 50 size, 50 size and the rounded corner so add a fifth parameter of 10. But the rect doesn't appear in the right position because of the top left hand corner, it's shifted downwards. So I need to be called making it appearing from a center as its x and y position origin. So say rect move center, and now you will see the rect moved upwards because of its x and y position in the middle okay after doing that the next thing i need to make one dice uh, more than one dice so for doing that i need to make a function of dice and this function of dice will be helping me making uh, multiple dice in this so what i have to do i have to give it a parameter of dice x and dice y and this is a helpful element which you will see how it will be helpful so now I will say instead of these 100 and 200 that dice x is here and dice y is there now when you run the program nothing will happen and the dice is also gone because this function dice is not called inside the prop so I have to call this function dice and give the parameters which are dice x and dice y in here so i will say is 100 position and 200 position so when i click this now then the dice will appear so now the dice is here and i said it will help me making the dice more dice so what i'm going to do i'm going to make another dice I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to change this so let's say if the dice is at the position of 180 and 200 so you can see another dice appeared and if I want another dice so I can just copy and do this and change the position to 280 and now another dice appeared so I can make as many dice as possible if I want with just that dice function okay now we have two dices and we want to make them uh, show that there are random numbers generated on them and that will give them the uh, give us the feeling that the dice is there so let's start with uh, let's say that this is the back of the dice and we have to make the front of the dice is just this dice we will i first need to uh let's say make it a nicer one so let's say the dice front is minus one in the x position and uh, minus four in the y position and when i do that you can see that there is a 3d kind of appearance it started to take okay uh, after doing that what we can do is we can give it a color so the front we are saying that the back is let's say is steel color so 168 168 color we have given and for this one let's say is 255 only so it's a white color in the front so back is green the front is white okay okay now the next thing we have to do is we need the text to appear on these and for the text we need to give it some text so this is two dices and two dices should have different text of one two three four five six appearing on them so for that we have to give it a stroke first of all so the stroke is black and the fill let's say 
is a red color fill so it's a bit prominent and the text in that let's say it's one and then we have to give it a position so position dx dice x dice x uh, position is minus four and dice y minus say plus five little bit down let's see how we will see that appearing yeah seems to be fine so the first numbers we can see is fine but let's increase the size of the text because the text size is quite small so let's say that in fact let's give this text size above here so all the preceding ones will have the same text size so text size 80 let's see the numbers now is more visible than before and which is a good thing okay after doing that now the next bit we have to make the six of it one is done five more is to go and for doing that i need to first make a condition and that condition will make the uh, numbers change whenever the random is called so if and inside these brackets I will put the whole of the code which I have written here so that will go inside this Let's move this down as well back a bit just that just this click let's tidy the code that will be better yeah that's better okay so now in the if what we have to write we have to say that whenever rule is equals to is equals to one then you show this one on the dice but if we roll I'm saying roll because when we throw the dice it rolls and a new number appears that's why I'm taking it as a rule and now I will do the same so second one have roll to text to and in the same way do another one roll three text three then let's make it some more space here that's better okay so we have another one let's make it four and four and then another one let's make it five and five and another one let's make it six and six let's check that we have written everything right six five four three two and one perfect okay now the role we have written here is coming should come from somewhere so this is the variable which is giving inside as a parameter of this function dice roll so now how we will know that is rolling so we have to give it here as well so let's say that this is dice one and this is dice two and their rolls are also one and two so i'm going to write roll one here and roll two here for the two dices i'm not going to say i just know that roll one means dice one is moved and roll two means right dice two is moved now from where this roll one and two is coming we have to still make the variable of those so let roll one is equals to be one and let roll two is equals to two right so after doing that now everything is good but one and two is appearing because roll one got one in it and roll two got two in it and these are the uh, thing which are making it appear on the disk nice the same thing okay 
now as we know that our in the draw we have made all these things so now we have to make some more things now this all colored and nicely done now the thing which will change the numbers and make them uh, work the way we want it so function mouse release will help us get to the number whenever the mouse is released so when the mouse is released what we want is that rule one which we were talking about is give us an integer number a number which is not a decimal number and which it selects randomly from 1 to 7 between 1 to 7 so from 1 to between 7 so we give 7 so that we can get uh, the number till 6 so from 1 to 6 so I'm going to copy this again and write it over again and change just the row 2 here so in both cases they are happening but the number they are generating should be different so after doing that okay so this is done so now let's see when we roll what will happen okay so as you can see the numbers are changing sometimes they become similar sometimes they are not so the game which we are trying to make is to see that the number of clicks should be counted here and whenever the number is similar the game should say you did it or you won or something like that you did it is a good word good thing for it so up to now I'm oh I got the number but I missed it but when I give the condition for that that whenever there is similar number then you should say you did it and the game should restart again so let's do that let's move on to that one so for moving on to that one the basic thing we have done is we have to make a counter in this so let's first make the counter and let's see if this counter is at the position zero yes counter is at zero at first and then we need to know that when the game is end we have to say that when the game is end so end game variable also we made now the end game variable needs to be in the setup in the beginning false so end game we say is initiated as false at first right now the next thing we need to do is now we have the counter and we have the end game now we need to make a function and that function is when clicked okay so when the mouse is clicked then the counter should change that means that every time I'm clicking it should know that I clicked that so for that I need to make the function mouse clicked okay. okay in this mouse click what's happening the counter will change every time I click so counter which was in the beginning in was zero change by one every time we click now after doing that the next thing I need to do is I need to in the draw check the condition that whether it's click whether they are similar or not so for that we have to go in the draw and in the draw we have to think about what to write in that so that whenever we are clicking it recognizes that and whenever we have a similar number it recognizes that 
So let's see if role one is equals to is equals to role two. So it becomes perfectly equal to that means one one anything. So it when it becomes equal to Roll two, roll one, then you say that show the text you did it. So text and me that text. Let's write you let's write with the capitals. You did it. And uh, let's say it's somewhere up so in D hundred position. So let's see whether this is happening or not. So I'm clicking number similar, it shows you did it. But after that, it disappears. And I can do it again. And I will wait. So many clicks I did, I don't know myself. I'm not keeping account of that. And now I get to the point where it shows I did it. Okay. So now I need what I need is basically a counter. The counter should say that whenever I reach to this point, it should go back to zero, and the end game should become true. So when I do that, let's see what will happen. If I do that, so I'm clicking, clicking, says, and then it disappears. Nothing much is happening because else condition is still true. Okay, so else condition we have to give. So else, else we have to say that the to the text it says gain that the counter and after writing the counter we have to write it's equals to so it shows us that how many times we have clicked and say that this counter variable is called here so that the text and the text uh, will show the number changing in this counter and then 130 and 350 position I want it down here somewhere okay and the other thing uh, I need to do is to write the text that you need to click so let's do that. Click to roll. The dice. And let's say his position is up. So seventy fifty position. These two things. And let's say that the game is end game is equals to false at this point when the game is going on, it doesn't show up. So we have clicked to roll the dice, we have the counter which is at zero, and now when I click, it says one, click again, it says two, click again, it says three, four, five, and let's see when our numbers become similar and should say you did it to us now it's become similar both the things disappear and we get this you did it and when we do it again the game is reset this is it thanks for watching bye